A column of armored vehicles rolling into southern Russia's Kursk Oblast on the third day of Ukraine's surprise attack into Russia confirms the involvement of one of Ukraine's best equipped and fastest moving brigades, the 80th Air Assault Brigade. The Forbes media outlet reported this. It is noted that a video that circulated on social media depicts a T-64BV or T-80BV tank, a UR mine-clearing vehicles, an IMR-2 engineering vehicle plus BTR-80 and US-made striker wheeled armored personnel carriers rolling past a busy Ukrainian mortar crew. All the vehicles are up armored with anti-drone cages. Infantry crowd the top of the BTR-80. Forbes recalled that only the 80th Air Assault Brigade operates that mix of ex-Soviet and ex-American vehicles. Further confirmation is found in a separate video shot by a Russian drone depicting strikes on ex-German Marder tracked fighting vehicles in Kursk Oblast. The 80th Air Assault Brigade, like its sister unit, the 82nd Air Assault Brigade, apparently operates Marders alongside its strikers. The Marders are heavy, the strikers are fast. They suit the Ukrainian Air Assault Forces' preference for swift but powerful attacks, according to Forbes. The participation of the 80th Air Assault Brigade, one of the better Ukrainian brigades, underscores the scale of the Ukrainian operation just north of Ukraine's northern border with Russia. Forbes says that in the 29 months since Russia widened its war on Ukraine, pro-Ukrainian fighters have launched many raids across the border into southern Russia. But these raids have been small in scale and limited in scope, and have never lasted more than a few days. More than anything, they've been meant to embarrass Russian leaders. The general staff of the armed forces of Ukraine believes that this offensive may force Moscow to transfer troops from the Donetsk region and slow down Russian successes in this direction. In order for this tactic to bring success to Kiev, the Russians must transfer many troops from the Donetsk direction. If the Russians stop the Ukrainian offensive in Kursk without bringing in additional forces, the offensive in Kursk will lose its meaning. A traffic accident occurred near the Polatli district of Ankara when a passenger bus got stuck in the foot of a bridge. The accident occurred on the Ankara Skizhir road in the Olukpanar village area. The passenger bus went out of control and first crashed into the barriers and then into the overpass wall. While many ambulances and fire crews were dispatched to the scene, the Polatli direction of the road was closed to traffic Ankara Governor Vasip Sahin, who made a statement to CNN TRK regarding the accident, reported that according to initial reports, nine people died and 26 people were injured. He reported that the bus driver was among the dead passengers. Governor Sahin said, there are no brake marks, according to initial assessments, it could be the result of falling asleep. He added that information regarding the real cause of the accident would be shared in the coming hours. Justice Minister Yilmaz Tunk announced that three public prosecutors were assigned to investigate the tragic accident in Ankara. Minister Tunk made the following statement in his message, I wish God's mercy upon our citizens who lost their lives in the bus accident that occurred near the Polatli district of Ankara, patience for their grieving families, and a speedy recovery for our injured citizens. A judicial investigation has been launched by the Ankara West Chief Public Prosecutor's Office regarding the accident that broke our hearts, and three public prosecutors have been assigned under the coordination of a Deputy Chief Public Prosecutor. The investigation is being carried out meticulously. Murat Turkoglu, the driver of the car that was following the bus at the time of the accident, stated that they were going to Polatli and said, we left Tameli together, we were back to front anyway. The bus was a bit fast, it started to wobble 3 to 4 kilometers before here, then it hit the bridge. Parts flying out of the bus hit our vehicle. We flashed our headlights from behind and honked the horn, but he didn't hear us.